It is no brainer that Memento is one of my favorite decks because of what aspects it shares. It shares my nostalgia of very old normal monsters. It also shares the aspect of retraining old cards into future better new versions. And Memento is a super new deck from Valent Smashers that was released on November 16th, 2023. And I've been speculating ever since they were released and trying to think what support they could get in the future from Legacy to Destruction or another future set. And it may be very apparent when looking at what has been revealed so far because there's a few slots open. And those slots are JP037. It is a fusion slot for a deck build pack because it's between the, the Dragon deck and just other support like Light Sworn. Then you also have 41 or 42. Those are synchro slots for another deck build set. 61, it's a spell for whatever they need. And then I'm not too sure on traps, but it could be either 75 or 76. Now we have a lot of spaces for deck build slots, which is very nice to know. And we have seen in the past a lot of decks that haven't received a extra deck from the initial wave get one in the future. We've seen some examples in the past of decks getting extra deck mechanic type cards and there's only been a handful. We have things like Witchcrafter, Fur Hire, Drytron, Eldritch, and Magical Musket all getting a card in the mix of things. And they all help the, their own respective decks in their own way, which I really do enjoy because of how much it helps the deck function, especially things like Beta Fafnir. Magical Musket Max, even Donner Dagger for Hire, and Fogel from the Far Hire series. So there's options that we can go off of from fusions all the way to links. So let's take a look at these speculation cards to think of what could possibly come in the future for Memento. Now I have two sets of cards set up, one being a spell and a link, and the other one being a fusion and a spell because I have been tossing up the idea that Memento could probably get either or ever since I've started speculating and it has been narrowed down to a link and a fusion for my opinion and I've talked with it with many other people and they also said the exact same thing that it, they it would either like a link or a fusion. So let's take a look at these cards and what possibilities we could have. So first up we have the Link Monster being Memento M Mavilus. This is a retrain off the level 4 fusion, Mavilus. Now, it keeps the same stat line being 1300 and a winged beast. And honestly, I think this is one of the more possible options we could get. Now, since these cards are all speculation, these are all custom made effects that I think would help with the actual strategy of what the deck wants to do. So, what the card does is Memento Mavilus. It's a Wind Wing Beast Link 2 effect. 1300 attack that points right and down, and it takes two Memento Monsters, so it's not generic. If this card is Link Summoned, you can add one Memento Monster from your deck to your hand. During your main phase, you can send one Memento Monster from your deck to your graveyard, then add one Memento Spell or Trap card from your deck to your hand. And you can only use each effect of Memento Mavilus once per turn. So this card helps get things to your hand, <clears throat> now, even though it's not a monster with a level, and it contradicts things like Tushou no, no Toshigo, I think that's how you pronounce it, it is a way to get another name in the grave, also getting a name to your hand, so it could be very, very useful. And realistically, I think it would help the deck quite a bit. Now, onto the other card of this first set. It is an actual spell card that could help out the deck quite a bit. We have Memento and Bone Clash. Now, this is a normal spell card. I had a little issue trying to create this card, but I based it off of stuff like Manidium Obsession or something like Fire King Sanctuary, but with a little of a cost. Now, if you control a Memento monster, target one card you control, destroy it, and if you do, activate one Memento Mictolin directly from your deck. And if you have a Momental combined creation on your field or in your graveyard. You can banish this card from your graveyard. Special summon one Memento monster from your deck. 
You can you you can only use one effect of momental Lind Bone cr Clash once per turn. So realistically, it's just another way to get into your memento monsters if you have combined creation on your board, but also it can get to your field spell, which is very useful later on in the duel because it gets to reset your spell and trap cards. And honestly, this is going to be like a two or three up, depending on how people play the deck. And realistically, these are two of the weaker ones, but let's get into the other set, which is going to be more interesting than these two. Now, with them retraining cards for this deck, I feel like the, a certain card from the past will get retrained, being Black Skull Dragon. And this is going to be a fearsome creature because of how powerful it can be. Now, we have Memental and Skull Dragon. This is going to be a very interesting fusion monster for the deck. And realistically, I think it's going to be one of the more powerful cards that you can go into outside of Combined Creation. Being a level 9, you can send up to level 9 from your deck to the graveyard off of Tatsuno Toshigo, which I think is going to be really, really nice. <clears throat> now, the effect is, it's a Dark Dragon Fusion effect, level 9, with 3200 attack, 2500 defense, to reflect off of the original Black Skull Dragon. And it's going to take 2 plus Memento Monsters. Now, if this card is Fusion Summoned, you could send one Memento Monster from your deck to the graveyard with a name different from the cards in your graveyard. When your opponent activates a card or effect that targets memento cards you control, quick effect. You can shuffle one memento monster from your graveyard into the deck, negate the activation, and if you do, destroy that card. You can only use each effect of memento toll and skull dragon once per turn. Now this is going to be a brute of a card to deal with because it has targeting negation, which honestly, with how the deck runs, targeting cards are the downfall mostly like Imperm, Valor, even other things too, here and there. But realistically, this is going to be a nice boss monster to have because the deck kind of needs something like this. And the fusion spell that was made to pair with this could also become reality because I kind of want this deck to have a way to get around Ash Blossom in some shape or form. Now to finally pair with the fusion monster, we have to always have a fusion spell normally and honestly i think this is going to be one that people will enjoy for the deck because it can get around things like ash blossom we have memento totolan memento totolan yes fusion we have a fusion spell for the deck because usually how they do things is if they give a deck build set of fusion it kind of pairs with a fusion spell somewhere in the future but let's get into this card because I think it's really unique on how you can structure fusion spells nowadays. Now, of course, it has the normal fusion effect, being fusion summon one memento fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as fusion materials. If you control memento combined creation, you could destroy monsters from your deck as fusion material. You can only activate one memento tolan fusion per turn. Now, realistically, this can allow you to dump many names from your deck as possible, but they could restrict it down to two if they really wanted to. And make the fusion only take two monsters, because that kind of feels right. Kind of like a branded fusion instance, but this is specifically only for memento monsters. And honestly, I would really like this because this can help <laughs> in certain situations, if you need a couple names in Graveyard, so you can summon out your Combined Creation. But I really like the aspect, if you control Combined Creation, you can get additional effects, like how most of their cards are, especially this, using monsters from your deck, by destroying them so it cannot be Ash Blossomed like Sacred Grunix from the Fire King Structure deck. But overall, I wonder what you guys think of what Memento should get. Tell me what also Velmonica and Zutorian should get in the future, and I hope that some of these things come to light because it's very easy to predict patterns from Konami and also predict what could be in card sets, but that will probably be another thing for another day, probably on stream or whenever. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Hit that like button down below, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. But anyways, I've been Bolt Spider. See you guys in the next video.